doing now? Well, I'm going to show you a little more about arc welding here. How to how to start it, how to get the, the arc going, how to keep a, the correct distance so you don't stick to the royal road or lose your arc. Or, and just do a little weld here and chip it off so you can see what the slag looks like as it comes off. You know about all that, right? I will in a minute. Okay. Oh, I've got just some old, you know, i got some eighth inch plate here, and we're just going to set it up real quick. But here, let me show you this. On the arc welder, the electrode holder, this is the electrode. It's just a steel core with flux on the outside of it. So as you're welding, the flux will melt, seal over your weld. Just like the gas on the TIG and the MIG welders do, that's what this is for. So when you want to start your arc, two different ways you can do it, really. You can scratch it and get it going, and then just get the correct distance away. And that distance is about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little more, a little less, depending on what conditions you're working in. But about an eighth of an inch is, is about right. Get it started, get that little bit, look down here. Get, get it started, get that little distance up above your well, about that eighth of an inch to about a quarter of an inch right in that area. And then you just have to keep that distance as you're moving along to keep your arc going. But the thing you got to remember is, as you're welding, this electrode gets shorter. You keep burning this thing up. So you have to keep moving your hand in at the same time to, get, to keep, keep your distance away and also keep moving down your weld at the same time. It takes a little hand-eye coordination. You, know, you got to remember, this thing's getting shorter all the time. Easy way to do it, take your finger. This is, this is how I, I used to practice with it. You can scratch your finger on the table, get your art going, and you just got to be able to hold that distance above the table. That's, that's part of it. And then remember, you just have to feed in. It's really easy once you get started. Now let me show you. You can just scratch the rod like this. So you look down here. Yep. That's one way to get the arc started. Now, look over here on this other end. Let me show you the other way. So you're just putting some tacks on there? Yeah, just put a couple little tacks on it just so I can get my fingers away from it while I'm welding. But you watch it on this end? Yep. And I, now I'll show you how to just tap it. Right, so you can work it along and start your puddle going, or you just tap it. Either way will work. Okay. Got your helmet on? Yep. There we go. Slag, that's the flux off the rod. 
and that's there just to help protect the, the mold and weld until it cools, just like the just like the gas does on the MIG welder or the TIG welder. That's what the flux is for, to protect the weld. Okay. Come here, take a look. Not bad for somebody who hasn't done it in a long time. <laughs> Hope that answers your questions. We'll talk next time.